The soundtrack of your scene, whether it be in your film or in your comedy skit, is wildly important. The music will set the mood or the tone. It communicates something to the audience about what is going on. And having the wrong music can totally throw off your video. So how do you pick the right music for your films and skits? Well, this is just great. Cause that's what this video is for. Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nate. So glad that you're here. Thanks for stopping by. So I'm a big music guy. And if you've been following this channel for a long time and you've seen my other videos, you know that music significantly impacts my creative decisions. This is not my first video talking about soundtrack. In the first video, I talked about the why behind why it's important to have a good soundtrack. But in this video, we're gonna talk more about the how to pick that soundtrack. So whenever I am picking a soundtrack for a scene that I've already shot, I ask myself a few questions. What do I want the audience to feel here? What emotion is this scene or sequence communicating? Is it happy? Is it sad? Do I want people to feel on edge? Or do I want them to feel mysterious? And the soundtrack that I pick needs to provoke that emotion. I mean, think about some of the best TV shows and movies where music played a significant role in how a scene made you feel. Like in Stranger Things, when Eddie is just shredding on guitar to master of puppets. Spoiler alert if you haven't seen that. This scene takes place at a significant arc in the show where all the plans are being executed. Eddie is sacrificing himself. It's upbeat. It's intense. It has this like nostalgia feel because the show takes place in the 80s. The song came out in the 80s. And this song is like a direct reflection of who Eddie is as a character. So there are so many things that just one song can communicate in your skits and in your films. So by answering these questions, it'll help direct and guide you in your song selection. So let's take a look at one of my skits and I'll show you how I pick the soundtrack for it. I have to sneeze. If you said bless you, thank you. So the skit I made is called Don't Say This on a Film Set. And if you haven't seen it, the basic premise is two guys are shooting what looks like is a product commercial. There is a small hitch in one of the shots that they got. And just as one guy is about to make a suggestion about how to fix that mistake, the other guy pulls a knife on him, anticipating that he was going to suggest to just fix it in post. Don't do that. Don't try to fix it in post. So when I was writing this skit, I wanted this particular exchange to feel dark. I wanted it to feel intense. I wanted the audience to anticipate that something bad would happen. So once I knew how I wanted the scene to feel and how I wanted the audience to feel, I went to find my music of choice over at Track Club who is also the sponsor of today's video. Wow. Look at us. We got our first sponsor. Track Club is a new music licensing subscription for creators. It's a perfect place for you to find high quality music made by real artists for all your videos, short films, and comedy skits. It has a hyper curated library of music, so you're not gonna have to go through thousands of songs to find the right track for your videos. But what I think is really, really cool about Track Club that I haven't seen before is this feature that's called Mix Lab. And basically what this feature does is it allows you to customize music for for your projects. Once you find a track that you like, you can actually customize each individual piece of that track. You can change the volume of different stems, you can mute or solo individual instruments or sounds, and you can even speed up or slow down the song. And the reason I was really excited to partner with Track Club is because they actually donate 10% of all their profits back to community organizations. Organizations that are working for social justice, education, houselessness, music and arts advocacy, equity and inclusion, civil rights, and more. So if you're looking for a new music subscription for your videos, hit the link in the description below for a free month of Track Club and check them out. So on Track Club, when I'm looking for music, I'm going to refer back to that feeling that I want people to feel when they're watching my skit. I wanted the scene to feel dark, I wanted it to feel a little intense, and I wanted the audience to feel a little on edge like they didn't know what was gonna happen. So on Track Club, as you can see, you can search through songs for vocals, the mood, what genre of song you're looking for, different instruments, energy arc, length, BPM, 
etc. There's a lot of different categories you can check off here to find the right song you're looking for. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna be using Mood to look for my song. So I'm gonna click on Mood and I'm gonna scroll down here. Dark, we got Mysterious and Sinister. So now it's gonna use all these filters to show me songs that give me a dark, mysterious, and sinister feel. I chose Dark because this obviously isn't a happy situation. Mysterious because I don't want the audience or even the character to know what's about to happen. And Sinister because because I want Mark's character to feel really intense. So after applying those filters, I found this song and it's called Champion Waves Instrumental. I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. Okay, so I like this track because, you know, it had everything I said I wanted. But specifically, I like that it kind of builds to a point because that's what I want to happen in this scene. I want there to be like a build up to a specific moment. But if I'm being honest here... I'm not crazy about this drum build that's going on. So I'm gonna remove those drums. Got this song, I'm gonna come down here, it's playing right here. I'm gonna click on Mix Lab. And now I can see every individual stem of this song. And like I said earlier, I can solo individual tracks, I can mute individual tracks, I can adjust the volume of individual tracks. Okay, so let's remove that drum part. Drum machine, let me just solo it to make sure it's the right one. Yeah, I don't like that. So I'm gonna mute it, and now we got. Good, I like that a lot more. So I muted that drum part, I muted a few other sounds, and I didn't really mess around with any of the volume or the speed or anything like that, because I liked it as is. So once I was good with my version of this track, I downloaded it. I downloaded my custom version of this soundtrack. And I actually just ended up downloading every individual stem, which you can also do, which I thought was really cool, because there were certain sounds that I would love to use on their own, like this sound. So from there, I just dropped the song in my timeline where I wanted it to go. And I also used some of those individual stems that I downloaded to build my own little sequence towards the end of the skit that generated a shorter, dark, mysterious, sinister feeling. So let's check out the final product. There's a small little hitch at the end, but we can just like... Don't say it. Whoa, 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 dude, what are you doing? Don't say it. Dude, whoa, oh my gosh, put the knife down. Don't say whoa. it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was just gonna say that we could try the shot again. All right, let's do it. Or I was gonna say we can just fix it in post. So in my opinion, this song gave my skit the exact emotion, tone, mood, vibe, feel, whatever word you want to insert there, that I was looking for. But it all started with asking those initial questions in the beginning. Now obviously not all music licenses are going to allow you to customize your song of choice, but I have yet to find a music license that doesn't allow you to search through their library using like, mood as a filter. So that is how you can find the right music for your films, comedy skits, and your videos. If you liked this video or found it helpful, give it a like. And feel free to subscribe to the channel because that would be pretty flippin' dope if you did that. Join the community, you know? Hey, my name is Nate. Thanks for watching. Keep telling stories, and I'll see you in the next video. Welcome to the end screen. Oh yeah. Bet you're wondering how I did this little shot right here. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'll talk about it in a video.